you did some good work in Chevella. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you tell us a little more what 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 exactly were your projects initially as an MP? See, uh, an MP has this primary role is to represent the people. People means firstly the region that voted for you, the state and the nation in the parliament. So I could do that extremely well. Uh, I, As a first-time parliamentarian, I spoke close to 100 times in the parliament. Usually many first-time parliamentarians never speak. I could represent local issues. And uh, one is through policy change, you can help the nation, the state and things like that. And I did various things about environment, ecology, but also about development issues and farmers' issues. So uh, there's a huge, uh, the GST, uh, there's a very inexpensive flooring, which is cost, called Tandur or Shabat stone. It's only 10 rupees a square feet and it's sturdy stone. But on that, the new GST, they put 18%. So I could okay. explain them and fight with data, saying that no, this uh, has to come down to 4 rupees. I gave examples of Kota stone in Rajasthan. So through policy, I helped. Also, there's a Kandi, there's Thur Dal, which is very famous. I got a GI tagging. So these are through policies. But they're also through projects. Uh, there's no highway in Western side of uh, my district. So I, I fought for it. And of course, Nitin Gadkari was giving, uh, was, has uh, believed that for development, we need highways. It was very easy to convince him. He gave a 1,000 crores, 930 crores highway through my this thing. Then so many uh, through policy. But also through my MP lads. Huh. I spent all my MP lads. So I did it 100%? at different. Uh, no, uh, the problem is when MP lads, is a, there's a bureaucratic process. So nobody spends 100%. But the previous MPs, I would spend. But my MPs will be left over. All Projects right. will be halfway through. All right. So I, uh, uh, let's say I sanction a youth club. It'll be halfway through and they give it bits and bits. So some of it will flow down to the next MP. So flow, uh, among the top MP lads utilization and I gave it to more than 400 villages. And things Still like that. you lost. Yeah, election. and uh, then I did personally, you're asking on a project, yeah. then personally, because I was in innovation, I could, I, everyone says, how can you get into dirty politics? I find politics really, really wonderful. I really started enjoying it. Because as an innovator, what's the, uh, you know, you have a problem, this gear mechanism is not working, this circuit is not working, the software is not working. So you fix it. And you really have a good night's sleep and you're really satisfied. Other than besides, of course, making money on the innovation. innovation. But you feel very, you know, uh, self-satisfied. And, uh, but actually when you go to politics and you know, what's the input? Uh, they say uh, necessity is the mother of invention. I totally disagree. Problems are the mother of invention. You find the solution. Nobody invents because I need it, I'll invent it. Because this problem is there to solve the problem. And uh, our, the inputs, our raw material is problems. Our output is solutions, which are innovations. And uh, after that, I feel so this thing, just a gear mechanism, I make it more efficient, is nothing compared to solving a problem of the people. And, and you can apply the same methodologies of innovation. There's unemployment. The education quality is not good. You go and see how, why. It's because people are not attending. The bathrooms are not good. Nobody goes there. Girls, there's no toilets for girls. At least the boys can go outside. Girls' attendance, uh, this thing is less. So all these I really innovated.